فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل بروب الخير Another aspect of the peace that Islam teaches is in patience يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ O you who believe, seek assistance through prayer and patience or through patience and prayer. What is this patience? Patience is a topic that is very broad. You need to have sabr. You need to have forbearance. You need to practice restraint. You need to hold yourself back at times. It will bring about contentment. One narration, One narration says, says that, if person, that if a person, in fact, there is a verse of the Quran praising those who, when they are becoming angry, they quickly suppress that anger. Quickly suppress that anger. Why? There is an inner peace that you achieve. People swear you. Recently, someone called me a baboon online. You might have seen it. What did I say? I screenshotted it and posted it on Instagram. And I said, hey, love, you look just like me. Subhanallah. That's what I said. Exactly. I'm sure you might have seen it. I was not offended because I know I'm not a baboon. And then someone comes and says, no, baboon in Arabic means a door. Huh, get lost. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> baboon, you know, a bab is a door. But I know what they meant, an insult. Why get angry? Imagine if I said, okay, I, I'm not a baboon, you're an ape. And then he sent, sent me back a message to say, you're a dog and I sent you a swine and so on. It doesn't stop, but you can extinguish it from minute one. After that, if you did not extinguish it, you don't know where it's going to go. The moment it gets out of your hand, it might go beyond control. He might fly down to you and want to attack you. Who knows? It started off with a little message. For now, we laughed at it. And we said, whoa, subhanallah. And really, before when I was a little bit younger, I would have got very cross, very upset. But now you realize social media and people's tongues will keep wagging. You cannot stop them, but you can control how to react to it. You can control how to retaliate or how to just remain calm or how to give back in a unique way. Subhanallah. You can give back. Smile about it. Make a joke of it. They might get more irritated. Imagine someone trying to irk you, trying to really make you angry, and you're just smiling. Whoa, subhanallah. So this type of patience, this restraint, you will enjoy it at a certain stage. It will bring about that peace where with a smile you react to those who swear you. If someone calls you a dog, does it make you a dog? It doesn't. If someone calls you a bad word, does it make you that? But sometimes your reaction is a vindication. So what happens is the way you react proves that you're actually a person who might have a few of these bad qualities that the person called you by. And this is why my brothers and sisters, the religion of peace, the religion that brings about peace, there are people across the globe who might provoke by perhaps cartoons and videos and images and other swear words etc against those whom we consider very lofty in rank such as the messenger peace be upon him such as the pious and the the other prophets of Allah or Allah himself or maybe the Kaaba and th places that we consider very very holy if they are to engage in something negative yes it will hurt us but our reaction should not create a bigger problem that's what I want to say the way we react to someone's bad deed should be number one. Yes, we felt hurt in the sense that if it was blasphemous to our religion, we feel it. We pray for them and we will do whatever we can in a very dignified way to stop that. But without becoming hooligans, I remember some time back there were cartoons that were drawn against the Prophet Sallallahu and there were videos that were made against the Prophet, peace be upon him. And rightly so, there were people who were very upset. We were all quite upset, every one of us, but people reacted differently. Some became hooligans, hooligans to the degree that they, there was loss of life as a result. 
There was loss of life. So people started saying, look at these Muslims. My brothers and sisters, you know what? Those who prayed, I promise you I'm going to say something very touching. Those who prayed with a sincere heart for the guidance of the others who had perpetrated these crimes, the result of those prayers in this hall, we heard from one of those who was engaged in the initial blasphemy, who became a Muslim as a result a few years later. This venue, the same venue we are at today. Subhanallah, what happened? The Almighty guided them to the goodness. Look at Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. He came out to commit murder. Moments later, the Almighty guided him. Why? Because the Prophet, peace be upon him, had made a prayer for him to say, Oh Allah, guide him to the deen. Guide him towards goodness. How many of us have that good heart? When you have the good heart, you are able to reach out to people with a peaceful prayer. It's a very high level. I'm not telling you that you should allow people to slap you and you should allow people to be unjust. No, when you're standing up for justice, do it in a dignified way. When you're standing up for justice, do it in a responsible, respectful way. People would know this person was wrong. They have actually dealt with it in a very dignified way. But don't become a hooligan. Don't be a disgrace to yourself and to your deen, to your religion, to your people and to everyone else. We have to build this globe together.